Okay, so you know how um, NBC, you know, the network in Korea was uh, banning Top Song, turned it up because it mentioned a whole bunch of, like, um, designers and, like, brands and stuff like that? NBC is on a rampage. I can get how or why they banned it. Um, Top kind of mentions a lot of, you know, brands and that could be used as advertising and stuff like that, but they are going way too far. They are getting, they are using this new excuse of banning to ban video, to ban songs that don't have video, and it's just, ah, I don't get it. Okay, but um, so, what are they doing now? They banned Seven and Shiny, and I got scared because they both just released new, uh, new music videos and songs, and mini albums. Seven has Better Together out, and he's also promoting Digital Bounce with Top. Um, and Shiny just released Lucifer, so I was afraid that one of those three songs, or all three of those songs, were the ones that got banned. It's not, but the songs are still banned for the same reason. Indirect advertising. And this is where you get this sort of WTF across your forehead. The evaluation department recently did their routine checkup on the latest releases and found lyrics in Seven's Money Can't Buy My Love, or Mo Money Can't Buy Me Love, with the brand names Gucci and Guess. Just two. Just two, okay? Mention once. Each. That's it. And Shiny. Now, this is ridiculous. In one of their songs, Love Still Goes On, it was banned due to Facebook being included in the lyrics one time throughout the entire song. <sighs> it's, it blows my mind how tightly strict and, like, just, I don't know, it's just stupid. Facebook? Come on now, that's a public place and anybody can get access to it. It's not like it costs money. It's not like, I don't know, like Gucci where it costs billions of millions of dollars that only celebrity could get or someone really, really rich. It's public and it's free and it's not promotion and it's mentioned once, once in a three minute song, just once. And Facebook, oh my god, I don't even, I can't even. <laughs> I mean... Sevens is also pretty ridiculous. It only lists like two, and it's only once again. Um, they are definitely going way too overboard. They are thinking that any mention by a celebrity has the power to make the fans get the products. That's co that's obviously what they're thinking. They're thinking, oh well, if somebody says this brand name, now every single fan is going to want to buy it. Their parents are going to get upset. They're going to go into debt or some like crazy ridiculous thing. It's just. <laughs> It's just stupid. Can I mean, I think I, I really am more upset about the Facebook thing. Facebook. Free. Public. All over the world. It can't be mentioned once without a conspiracy happening. So I guess now, if anybody aspires to be a Korean singer, they have to make sure that there is no mention of anything public in their lyrics. It's very limited to the creativity, too. I mean, come on, people. I think NBC, they're definitely using this indirect advertising thing way too much. They have the stupidest reasons. And you, again, like I said, usually it's KB, um, KS, KBS, yes. It's usually them that are um, banning songs for just really, really bizarre reasons. They can, I don't know. They might as well ban Big Bang in general since they're promoting the solar system. I mean,. Also, I thought Lucifer would Lucifer would be the one to be banned because it's sim similarly similarly close, to, like the devil, you know. But it's not. I don't want that one to get banned. I don't want Digital Bounce or Better Together to get banned either. I just think it's ah, stupid, stupid, stupid Korean evaluating network. Why? Why would you do that? It's just stupid. I mean, I, I'm glad it's not one of the, like their songs that have music videos, but still, come on now, really? I will never understand it, so try explaining it all you want, but... Facebook, 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 Gucci, guess! Facebook, Facebook, ban that! 